Hello again. Welcome to another episode of Galactic Science with Arturio Ramirez. So, since I last left you, I have finished up making all of the ingredients necessary for the Stargate. Uh, it took probably about two hours for the knack to cook the, the Nequida. Um, so I just kind of parked my guy over in the oxygen bubble here and just kind of let it run. And uh, then when it finished, I went and gathered up all the resources and and just made everything that it'll take to, to make the Stargate. And then also, I already had some matter transmitters. I got all those ready. So I am ready to go through. We're going to, um, I think I'm going to set this up up top somewhere. Try to find a decent place for this. Let's see, there's power here. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to route power this way. And then over here somewhere I'll uh, set up the, uh, the Stargate. I'm trying to remember, I think it's the base that has to have power. It's either that or the control unit. But we shall find out in a minute. Let's see. Put this back together a little bit. Oh, wrong button. Uh, All right, just uh, like I said, let me tap in. Oh, that may be a problem. Okay. You just tap in in a slightly different spot. Not really looking to break anything I've already done. Let's see, the, um, I'm trying to remember what goes in first. I think the power unit goes in first. I think the power unit goes there. Actually, let's see what the quest book says. Does it say anything about this? Place this under the base, okay. And then there's the base, there's the chevrons, and there's the ring block. So the base will go there. Then chevrons like this. I did make the battle suit, so that's gonna be a little different and you kind of bounce around quite a bit when you got the battle suit on. Let's see. I'm not sure I'm doing this right. Oh wait, no, I am. Okay. I think. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. All right, and then the last two ring blocks, a chevron in the middle, and there you go, got a Stargate. Okay, now the controller has to go in front of it somewhere. All right, that seems to work. Um, I also made these two upgrades. Like the chevron upgrade, you need that because you're doing a nine digit dial rather than a seven digit dial. And then uh, the iris. So now we need the code ZFRRUDGJY. 
me write that down real quick. My memory is really awful these days. Okay, so let's punch that code in. Aha, it's dialing. You can see the chevrons engaging one at a time. So they, they did a pretty good job of uh, whoever put the, the Stargate mod together of emulating the old TV show. So that, that worked pretty well. Looks pretty good. All right, uh, I'm trying to decide if there's any of the stuff I don't need to take with me. And there's probably quite a bit of stuff I don't need to take with me. And I'm hoping I don't die. So just put some of this stuff away, the moon dirt. Um, the open computer, I don't actually need the open computer thing. That's, that's if you're gonna hook it up and control it via computer, which I'm not gonna do. I don't need that lone torch. I've got blocks, um, which is not how the mod pack creators want you to do this. They want you to go through and kind of battle it out and, um, you know, they have a preconceived notion of how you should do this. I, I've done this once or twice. I have my own ideas, so. And I think I have to dial this again. Okay, what's my oxygen? My oxygen's at half. Let's go get some more oxygen. All right, let's just do this. What's the worst that can happen? I can die. Okay, Z, F, R, R, U, D, G, J, Y. Uh, again, this will take, take a minute. It's gotta go through the whole rigmarole. System rotating, chevrons locking. Almost there. Oh, don't stand in front of it. <laughs> I may go get grab some more apples real quick. Because I'm going to be engaged in some combat. All right, let's let's give this a shot. And it worked. And now we're in a place that has atmosphere, so it's going to be a little noisy. Um, and like I said, This is not really what they had in mind. If you come down here, this matter transporter, you can enable it, and it should work. Is it out of battery? Disabled. Hmm. Telepad not found, okay. But anyway, if you can get this telepad working, that's enabled. Telepad not found. Yeah, that should tell, teleport you to the place you need to go, but uh, I'm gonna do this a little differently. First of all, 
I'm going to set up a teleporter so I can get back and forth from here. Does F7 work here? I can't quite tell. So just like every place else, I'm going to do what I've always done. You can hear all the mobs up there. They're anxious to tear my face off. Okay, that's going to go there. My wire is going to go down here. Transceiver is going to go there. Matter transmitter, matter receiver, and a dialer. I have to name both of these. And then if I set this to the moon, I should be able to get back to the moon. Okay, good. That works. Oh, that's because the moon I had not set. This should take me back to the moon and then I'll have to reset it to uh, the Stargate address. Moon, star, dial. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, I'm just going to dig up, which again is not what the mod pack creators want you to do. But that's okay. So, I'm not necessarily real great at extemporaneous talking while I'm in the middle of combat, so there may not, uh, there may not be a whole lot of talk in here. Okay, hey, we're actually under where the altar is right now, so I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I'm outside right now. Okay, as you all can see, there's Cursed Earth. There, there's all kinds of bad stuff here. Whoa. I do not want to die here because if you die here, um, your spawn is out in the middle of the void and you go into a death loop. And if that happens, the series is over. <laughs> 
Ah, keep hitting the wrong button there. Sealed. And this is where it gets a little hairy. Okay, to heck with that. I got an altar. <laughs> ah. So I, I did, in fact, get a blood altar. And I'm back on the moon. And that's really the only thing you have to go there for. Um. Now, if, if you look around there, like I, I was trying to say, but in the middle of combat, I can't really talk. It's, I don't uh, do more than one thing at once very well, which is why on the, the videos that I'm going to do, I'm, it's not, I'm not ever gonna do a whole lot of combat stuff. Okay, so claim reward, spawn Captain Jack, awesome machine core, sacrificial knife. And this is the final quest, is to get the TARDIS key. And if you look in the book, I have done all of the other ones with the exception of getting the TARDIS key. That's the only thing left to do.